Hey, what's going on, people? How's everybody doing? Uh, I'm doing so good right now. I'm so blessed. Um, I just want to talk about today. You see, I don't have any notes here, but I just want to say I, I came from a, a event this past weekend in Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, amazing thing. Made some, met some great people uh, doing a lot of great things in their lives, but I came across two people in particular, a guy named Mike and a guy named Ilya, and their story really just just blew me away, uh, especially Ilya's. Um, just to tell you how good God is, man. First of all, I just want to say thank you all for uh, viewing this. This, I mean, this you all don't know how much this means to me. This just means that a lot of people are getting something from these videos, so I do appreciate that. But um, this guy named first, this guy named Mike. Um, you know, a young guy, 19 years old, doing a lot of things for himself. Um, before this event, and like maybe a few years before, he was, you know, was was trying to find his way, was trying to uh, find his way through, trying to get to the next step. But um, he he was doing some of the wrong things, and when I say wrong things, I don't mean I look bad upon him because I did some of the same things myself, but. Because of this event, because some of the people that he was introduced to, he was able to see himself in a better light. And so that's when he starts striving for it. I post a picture of him a little bit later on. Uh, um, I post a picture on after this video. And also this guy named Ilya. Now, this guy really blew my mind. Um, this guy is uh, from Russia. Um, had a, you know, his, his background is a little rough. <laughs> a little rough. I've never experienced it, a lot of the things that he said, but I'm telling you, his story was so amazing, man. Uh, he went from drug abuse to um, theft and um, a whole bunch of... Got in a lot of trouble. He really got in a lot of trouble. And I asked him if it was okay if I showed his, shared his story. He said it was okay. But um, he said after all that, after being going, after going to jail, after... All these things has happened to him. He has a child. He has a wife. His wife holding on with him, pressing forward, even in his in his times where he wasn't doing his best and wasn't doing the things he was supposed to do. In those times, his wife still held on, and his kid still loves him every single day. And now to this day, he's able to watch his kid. He's able to spend a lot more time with his child. But I think it's, he has a boy. But all the stuff that he went through, I mean, I'm talking, uh, he's been, I think, I don't know if it's jail I think it's jail six times or he has six something. I don't know. I don't know. But felonies. I think it's six felonies. But I talked to him Saturday and he says when he says that he has been delivered from it all, that's all by the grace of God. That is all the grace of God. He said he doesn't even drink soda anymore. <laughs> that's how far we is that's how far he's trying to get it stay away from all those things. So man, I just wanna say this, I'm gonna keep this video short. I'm telling you all this story to say that you all might be going through struggles. You all may, might be going through some things, some things that other people may not understand. But you always have to remember that God is bigger than it all. God is greater than it all. And if you decide to put him first, come as you are. Come as you are. Don't don't try to better yourself or say, oh, I got to be a certain way before I can come to God. No, God wants you just the way that you are. The club accepts you the way you are. So why not just come to God the same way you are? I'm not saying that you need to change everything. I'm not saying you need to turn your whole life around. But after you start getting in God's word and really learning the things that he wants you to know, some of those things that you used to do don't seem so uh, appetizing anymore. Some of those things that you used to do, just you just like, uh, why, I mean, why? Why do I need to do it? So if you all are going through a struggle, if any of you all are just have some things, some 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 um some old baggage that you all may have some old baggage or some old things that you want to get rid of but you just can't let it go just yet give it to god let him know god i just talk to him like a regular person even if you haven't talked to him in the days months years he wants you to listen to him he i mean he wants you to talk to him he wants to have a relationship with his child so this message is for everybody anybody even myself, because there's times where I had to go through where um, I had my little, you know, I had my moments where I wasn't being obedient and I wasn't listening to God and I wasn't going to him for my situations. But no matter what, in all, 
I just want to say, no matter what you're going through, God is greater than it all. So don't try to rely on yourself to become better or yourself to do those things that you want to do. Rely on God. Rely on God. Put it on God. Just plant the seed and watch God grow the tree. Just plant the seed and watch God grow the tree. And so um, that's what all I want to say today. I hope you all have a great No, I know you all going to have a great day. Today is going to be the best day of your life as long as you believe in it. So my name is Trey. I'm out. About to get ready. About to eat. You know, about to eat. So, <laughs> but um, y'all have a blessed day. I love all of y'all. Comment, share, whatever, like, do what you have to do. But make sure you share this with someone that might need it, even those that might not. And uh, see some miraculous things that may change in their life. And I know the best is yet to come for you as well. All right? Talk to y'all soon. All right.